I'm Sarah. And I'm David. Let's talk about Survivor Winners at War Season 40. Yes! <laughs> but first, if you are new to this channel, please click subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to support us on Patreon, there's a link in the description. Do it. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. We are Listen. we are getting there in right. our minds. What is it? Like four or five weeks away? It's a month-ish yeah. We got away. just over a month till Winners of at War. So we're going to do a five-part series yes. cast assessment. We can't cram these people all into one cast no. assessment. They're winners. We know these people. We yeah. know what they're capable of. So right. let's dive Dig into in. them. Yes. We're going to go in order of most recent backwards backwards so we're starting with nick right yeah, and then gonna we're do. gonna go four at a time in this video we're gonna do nick wendell ben and sarah yes and then we'll continue going back in time from there like we said five part series every week let's start with nick shall we yes david versus goliath he is our most uh, recent so this starts at uh what is this 37 37 yes so after him is Edge of Extinction, but that didn't they count. Didn't make they it. were already working on that show. Yeah. It didn't come out yet. Right. So starting with Nick. Yes. So Good he's old. that lawyer from Kentucky. From Kentucky. He's from Elaine's hometown. Yes, right. <laughs> now we say it like that. Right. <laughs> Remember a few months ago, yeah. Elaine was from uh, Nick's hometown? No, no. Now Nick's from Elaine's hometown. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. This is David versus Goliath. Right. So we should say that he's a David. Right. He was on the team that we all just felt for. We felt for because they were underdogs the, the, the whole David. season. Yeah, yes. it was their whole narrative. But he actually was kind of in danger from the very beginning because yeah. he, Carl didn't like how lazy he was around campus and that. Him. Yeah, he wasn't <laughs> helpful enough. But luckily for him, Pat was medically evacuated yeah. and that kind of spared Nick in yeah. that early, you know, in the early days of that season. The season had a rough, a rough, rough start. Yeah. But uh, Nick was mostly aligned with some of my favorites. Of all time. Like Christian. Yeah. And Gabby, and Davey, <laughs> yes, and Carl, yes. like that little crew. <laughs> yeah, I loved watching. Yes, they were so fun. And he also, you know, sort of bridged the gap. He, you yes. know, eventually formed an alliance with Mike White, and I think Angelina yeah. was in there too. When things got, you know, swapped around, mm -hmm. he was able to sort of bridge over to the Goliaths, yes. and he had good relationships over there. Absolutely. And he also was involved in. One of my favorite things to this, ever happen on Survivor this Jacket was, Gate. Oh my god, Jacket <laughs> Gate! He was involved in Jacket Gate. Remember when they did a swap, right? And there's it was like five people per tribe. I don't remember oh, the specifics, gosh. but there was Natalie, Angelina, and Mike from the Goliaths, and then Nick and Lear stuff from the Davids. So Angelina's cold, and Natalie's feeling cold. like, I'm gonna get you a jacket, yeah. Angelina. And she tried to make Nick give his jacket to Angelina, and he didn't like that. Oh God, remember Natalie? <laughs> <laughs> she was such good television. She was. And so then that made Nick mad, and he went over to Mike, and he was like, I know Natalie must be driving you crazy. Let's vote her out. Yes. They did. Yes. And at that tribal, we got... Natalie? Natalie? Oh. Natalie? Just, hey, Natalie, can I have your jacket? Natalie? <laughs> Which is the beginning of our love for Angelina. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> oh, Jacket Gate was priceless. There oh. was also another really good move in yes. this season. Yes. <laughs> that involved uh, the the minority of the Davids threw down some 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 what do we call these? Like some like advantages. Yes. Threw yes. down their, their jewelry yes, basically. Right. Uh -huh. And were able to get a Goliath out and it included a idol nullifier from Carl, right. but it included a steal a vote of Nick. Right. So they played both of these in one epic tribal. Oh, and it was like that boom, was just, boom. Yes. Like, oh man, the Goliaths were feeling it. And they did manage to get a Goliath out, which yes. was so crucial for them in that moment because oh. like we said, the Davids are always working from the bottom. They they were. They were like they were the minority yeah. and, and they had to talk together and communicate and they were able to come up with a plan and mm -hmm. it worked beautifully. It did, uh, yeah. And I, I you know, Nick sort of surged physically at the end of the game. He, he did. won the last three immunities in a row, yep. which was insane. And he also never had a vote cast against him all season. Mm -hmm. So he like had a really good way of not being the target 
target, which yeah. is super valuable in Survivor. He found an idol. Yeah. He won those last three immunity challenges that allowed him to pick to take Angelina to the end. Right. That left Mike making fire against Kara mm -hmm. and Mike, Mike won, won, so he was at the end. Yeah. But n no one's given votes to uh, Mike and Angelina, no. so uh, yeah. Nick all the way. I mean, Nick, you know, Mike, I think, did get three votes, right? Nick won seven to three against Mike and Angelina. Yeah. But people were just like, you had a great social strategic game. Like, there's no denying that. People were kind of critical of maybe Nick peaked too early, but ultimately he played a really solid social and strategic game early on, a really great physical game in the, At the end. end. Yeah. It was a really good mix. Now, he wasn't always on the right side of the vote. He mm -hmm. was not always in the loop. He yeah. didn't always know what was going on. Right. He was a bit of an underdog. Absolutely. Now, for that season, if you give us a theme of David versus Goliath, a David we better have win. to have a David win. Yeah. Absolutely. So that season, yes, Nick, absolutely. Uh -huh. Put him in season 40, I don't know that he I wins. don't know. Well, and but I also don't know that he's a threat right it's away. true. I don't think that people are going to be paying attention to him, especially when you've got titans of the game like right. Parvati and Sandra and Rob right. and all this. Like, someone like Nick is a little more unassuming. He's not this huge personality. Like, he's fresh in their mind? Yeah, But do right. they really hold him at that level? I don't think so. I don't so. think so. But I think that that's going to... Be in his yeah, advantage. Yeah, I think work for he's him. not going to be targeted right at the beginning. Uh -huh. And then maybe he can build some relationships Absolutely. and build a game. Yeah. Okay, Wendell. Wendell from, from Ghost, Ghost Island. Island. Yes. Oh, I adore Wendell. Yes, Wendell was great and he is one of four African American winners ever of Survivor. So good for him. You know, sure. glad to well, have. It's not great yeah, to have okay. four, but. Well. We've got him on this all winter Ooh, season, which yes. is great. He, he is technically a lawyer, which I only bring this up because mm. lawyers know how to talk and manipulate usually. Yeah. Right. Um, but he builds furniture <laughs> uh -huh. for his living. He actually yeah. has his own store. Good with like building things, I yes. guess, you know, shelters he, and He whatnot. was very helpful with shelter his yeah. season. Yeah. He only saw, he was on a tribe that just won and won and won mm. in the beginning of the game. He only saw one tribal council before they got to the merge. Yeah. So he kind of like, sailed through the first half of the game because his team was so good at winning those, you know, team immunities. He was able to make it far with loyalty with Dom oh, and yeah. then eventually Laurel and Sebastian. And, and Donathan. Yes. Yeah. He won two immunities. Mm -hmm. He found an idol. It was that necklace that they had brought back from Micronesia. Right, right. So they were using it yeah, as an idol. Yeah, these were like idol. relics of the past. Yeah. That was the theme of the season, right? But he didn't even need to use that, right? He used no, he it used it on Laurel. Laurel, because he had his own immunity. <laughs> Which did um, help him out when we get to how the votes how went well, down, but yes. he, he used it on Laurel, so I still think that that was a good move. Mm -hmm, yeah. He got to final three by making fire. Yes, and he got there with Dominic and Laurel. But yes. It was crazy that that alliance, like those three were so tight the whole game, especially post-merge, and it was crazy that they all made it there together. I mean, and they were really dominant. Dom and Wendell were really dominant throughout the game. Yes. And when it got down, you know, Dom couldn't take... He's the one who gets to choose. Yeah. He's not going to take Wendell. No. He chooses to take Laurel. Of course. She's Hoping that less... Angela could beat Wendell and fire. Yeah, but hoping. That wasn't going to happen. No, Wendell beats so, her. Yeah, so he's there. And I'm sure that's like worst case scenario for Dom mm -hmm. because he knows what a threat Wendell is. And sure enough... First time in Survivor history, we get a tie. At yes. The final tribal. So then Laurel has to cast the deciding vote. Yeah, they take Laurel as, you know, her runner up position. Yeah. She casts that vote. And then they wait all those months for oh this my one vote. God. Like, who did Laurel vote for? Everybody must have been knocking Laurel's door down trying to figure out who but, she voted for. As we just said, who played an idol on her? Wendell. He edged it out. Yeah. So he got that one extra vote. And yep. he's the only person to have won. From a tie. Yeah. And he, you know, he had a really good social game the whole season. You know, like you said, he won a couple of immunities. So I think he's a pretty well-rounded player. very athletic, yeah. But I, again, I don't think that he's going to be first on the chopping block. I just don't really see that I don't that feel like he's going to be first, but I do feel like he's going to be a bit more of a threat okay. than Nick. I mm. think that, I'll, I think people think of him as a pretty strong contender. Yeah. And they're going to keep an eye on him. Yeah. I don't know, maybe middle of the road ish. Excited for Wendell. Oh yeah. Excited he's I back. love Wendell. Yes. Definitely rooting for him. <laughs> ben from Heroes Hustlers 
and something else. Healers. Healers. <laughs> he was a hero because he's a former Marine. Former Marine. And, you know, some of that PTSD that yes. he had played into there his a season. A bit of that in the storyline, yeah. which helped us viewers sort of fall for him. Oh, yeah. Our heart went out to him. Yeah. Uh, but living with him on camp was a little bit more difficult. It was challenging. He was a little hot-tempered, mm -hmm. um, and he was super controlling, like definitely alpha personality. Yeah. And he even was referred to as King Arthur in one yes. of his alliances, which right. is like not really a place you want to be. Yeah. <laughs> Being referred to as a king. Yeah. You know, sometimes when you're in the military, you come at it like, I'm going to just uh -huh. direct you what to do. Right. It was a lot of that. That rubbed some people the wrong way. He did start strong with this great alliance with Chrissy. Loved that pair. Yes. And then... But he, he kind of uh, double-crossed her. Yeah, he double-crossed her. He played both sides behind her back. She didn't yeah. find out right away, but when she did... Done. Yeah. Like, dead to me. Yeah. She even, I remember, when the family visit yes. happened, she was like, I'm she not picking you on purpose yep. because I'm done with you. Yeah, she was like, rub your face in that. You don't get to see your loved one. <laughs> yeah. It happened. Yeah. Uh, he, though, had that insane run of hidden immunity idols at the end of the game. Yes, okay. Because he was target number one. Target number one. At every tribal we're going to, they want Ben out, they want Ben out, mm -hmm. and he played three idols in a row. I remember watching this season being so mad at the other people in the game <laughs> for not following him into the forest. They did leave him alone. They left him alone. Yeah. They let him go week after week to find these idols, and they would kind of talk to each other like, should we be with Ben? And they're like, where's Ben? Well, he's probably looking for an idol. like, go! But there's no way he's going to find another idol. Well, then, sure enough, he did, week he after did. week. So he has this record of being the winner with the most votes There's cast against him against because him. there were, I think, two weeks at the very end where it was like every single vote was Ben except for that one where Ben basically got to decide who's going home. Yeah, and at that time, he got a record for playing an idol with all of the votes against him. Oh, was that the first time that had happened? That it had successfully happened. Whoa. Where they played an idol, all the votes were against them, and the one vote that they had, yeah. at that point, he was the record holder wow. for that. And then this that was the first time he played an idol. Mm -hmm. The second time, he, he didn't played even it early, wait. right? Yeah, he just said, he just stood up and he was like, guys, I bought it. <laughs> right. So he didn't get any votes against him that second time. Because they just changed their strategy. But it's because he told them. Right. So he was 100% protecting himself. So there's a bit, I don't want to say an asterisk against him, but it sure. was by the time we get to the end and he wins, it's like, what? Yeah. Was it just idol play that right. got him to win? Right, because while you've got Ben playing all these hidden immunity idols, you've got Chrissy winning actual immunity. Yes. So that's why Ben had to play the hidden immunity idols, because Chrissy was like steamrolling everybody at the end of the game yeah. and winning all these immunity challenges. And Ben and Chrissy had run some stuff together like yeah. they're both playing strong games yeah she's winning these immunity challenges he's getting these idols yeah we get down to chrissy wins the final immunity challenge that's right and there's a twist wait there's a, a new twist first time in survivor history bringing to the table here what's now this? they phrased it as giving chrissy an extra advantage oh sure uh there's a bit of a debate on what kind of an advantage this actually is uh -huh. but she was told that instead of going to final vote right she gets to just pick somebody to take with her. Yeah. And the other two will do f make fire. Right. She doesn't, you know, that we're not going to vote. You just sail through to the final three with someone of your choosing. Yeah. And then there's a fire making challenge, which at the time felt like we want to make sure Ben's in the finale yeah. with Chrissy. Yeah. Because that's going to make me, because it's, Survivor had sort of gotten to a point where there was a very clear winner and then maybe a, you know, a serviceable second place and the third place was not getting any votes. Yeah. And I think the producers wanted to shake it up and make sure there were two really solid players in the finale and they got what they wanted because Ben beat Devin and Fire yeah. to make it to the final three with And Chris Ben 100% and was going to be voted out finally at 1, this point. 1,000% because there's no hidden immunity idol. He would not be going to the final three. Yeah. But he made Fire, so he does go to the final three. Yeah. And then Chris he was unable yeah. to get enough votes and he does win. Yeah, it was five to two to one. Right. Where Ryan got one vote, Chrissy got two, Ben got five. Now, 
Ben did a great job mm -hmm. of now letting everyone else in. The heart of his story. Uh, to his story, exactly. He sold that so, so well. So we as viewers had already been brought in, but the rest of the, the jury, basically, mm -hmm. didn't fully understand. Mm -hmm. And he... He said it. PTSD. That's it's, right. Life is hard. Yeah. He he brought them into his story, and I really feel like that's what yes. won him the game. Because they were really, you know, sort of admiring his idol plays mm -hmm. and how he was kind of running the game early on, but they were calling him out for his weak social game, and he got to be there and be like, you guys, like, it's kind of out of my control. It's a struggle. This mm -hmm. and that. And that really, I think, solidified the win for him. Yeah. It's a tough one to talk about because Chrissy also <sighs> deserved that win. I was rooting so hard for Chrissy, if we, I'm being honest. Yeah, we were. I we, wanted her to win. I thought she was such an awesome player. We loved the underdog sort of route that Ben's story took. Yeah. And we definitely, like, when you target someone so much and then they find an idol, yeah. you're like, yeah, yeah. let's go. Yeah. Idols, yeah. Oh, you didn't get them out. Like, it's uh -huh. fun to watch. But then not giving the win to Chrissy was uh, was a tough it pill was to, tough. to, it to was swallow. Tough. She was so, such a good player. We have nothing against Ben. We enjoyed watching him. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But just like reliving the season, I was like, oh yeah, Chrissy didn't win. Yeah. And he, I mean, I, I think I said it back in that season. I was like, he earned this win. He did. Like, he found all those hidden immunity idols and they just let him go into the, like, hand in the million dollars. Like, I was like so frustrated at one point, you know? Yeah. So he definitely earned this win for himself. But I think... He, in terms of being on people's radar in season 40, I think that alpha personality is going to catch people's attention just like it did on his season. Yeah. I mean, okay, we're putting all these winners together. Mm -hmm. You can't have all these alpha males. No. Like, they're just not, it's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. So, is he going to rub people the wrong way? Right. Who's Can gonna he be lay like, low? Yeah. Are they just going to be like, we can't, King Arthur, we can't. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, I don't know. He mm -hmm. might be targeted. And 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 now everybody knows his story, right? Yeah. Everybody knows how, you know, much of a struggle he's been through. They know the war veteran thing. Like, they know that he's got those selling points at the finale, too. So, you know. Right. So you definitely don't want him at the end. Mm -hmm. But then again, which one of these do you want at the end? Right. None I mean, of them. All these people have $1 million. <laughs> Sandra's won $2 million, So, like, it everybody's probably on a level playing field. Yeah. But... <laughs> you're like, well, they can't get to the end either. Or they can't. Yeah. No, they can't. <laughs> right. And last but not least, your namesake. My namesake. You guys, Sarah from Game Changers. Yes. Is the only Sarah to have made it past the merge. My, what? My namesake can't make it past the merge. Are you kidding? There have to have been a bunch of Sarahs who have played Survivor and none of them have made it past the merge? There actually haven't been a bunch, so oh, I'm gonna let that slide, but yeah. like, we need more Sarahs out here. Come Absolutely. on. Absolutely. Well, good for Sarah representing That's as a right, winner. As a winner. Now, she actually has played twice before. She yes. won Game Changers, but her first season was Kagayan. Mm -hmm. She It was a brains, brawn, beauty yeah. thing, which we've seen since and I probably before, but she was on the brawn trial. Yes, she's a police officer, so yes. she is a bit of a brawn. And she played with Tony yes. on Kagayan, yes. who's now on this all winter season, and, and they played together on Game Changers. Game Changers. So she's every season they've been together. And he won Kagayan and she voted for him. Yeah. Yeah. So they might be an automatic alliance. Maybe, yeah. She Before. was in Kagayan, she was blindsided right at the merge. She was like kind of a swing vote at the merge, but then somebody kind of caught onto that and flipped and eliminated her. But then when she came back to Game Changers, she decided, I'm playing more aggressive, I'm out here to win, like her whole and outlook on the game changed. We should also mention Game Changers is all returning players. Right. With so some they winners, all, some not. Yeah, exactly. They all kind of know of, of each other and have to switch up their games. Yeah. And she really had kind of a ballsy game. Uh -huh. I really liked watching oh, her. She Going back and doing research on her, I was like... This girl's game was out of control. It was lit, y'all. She had no immunity wins, interestingly enough, because yeah. she is pretty athletic and yeah. fit. Mm -hmm. She was safe much of the game, as we've kind of mentioned before, because mm -hmm. of being on strong tribes and not going to tribal very often. Yeah. So she kind of makes it far with that. Yeah. But she had a couple epic moments. Oh my god. The reward. Where she got that vote steal yes. advantage. This was crazy it was because so bad. she. It's on the sit-out bench, right? And Michaela's on the bench. Michaela's so mad that she's gotten sat out that she she's like, focus. she's not in the game. She's not. She's just mad. Sarah is competing in the challenge. Over here competing. And spots the advantage. 
and we're not on land. We're in the middle of the ocean and they've got like a little platform with a bench over here and Sarah's like, there's something on that bench. So after the whole thing is it's over, over, they have to dive in to go to a boat and Sarah just like comes over here, dip, 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 dip. grabs that advantage. Nobody notices. It. Totally I'm gets it. I was like, this is nuts. It was right under Michaela the whole time. It was amazing. And then somehow Sarah swims away from everybody and gets yeah. an advantage without anybody noticing. And that was a vote steal that she got then. Oh my God. Then, then the legacy advantage. This was so good, David. This was so good. <laughs> Sierra, just building some trust. Talking to Sarah. Yeah, Sierra had the legacy advantage. Yes. And she's like, I got this thing. And if I am voted out, like I get to will it to someone. And guess what? I choose you. I will will it to you. I will will it to if you. If I get voted out. And Sarah's thinking, you're going home. Okay, then that just changes everything. Yeah. Sarah then's like, okay, I now orchestrate your death. And so she does. She, Sarah gets voted out. And what's Sarah? <gasps> Sarah plays it off. What? Shocked. Oh my gosh. No idea that Sarah is involved in this, None. and the legacy is willed to Sarah. Willed to Sarah. She got it. I mean, you got it. Then. That's the kind of moves I like to see. Do we remember? Yes, we do, because it was <laughs> iconic, this tribal, <laughs> where Ty got up and played an idol for himself oh my and for Aubrey. Yes. Sarah is like, I'm not doing this. I'm playing my legacy advantage. Okay. I'm safe. Yeah. Then somebody else had an idol. This was the, the tribal yeah. where nobody cast any votes and Sari went home because she was the was only the person who didn't only have immunity. person eligible to even be voted out. It was so insane. It and was. And that bonkers. week, Sarah had the majority of the votes. She had three votes cast against her, but they didn't even read the votes because it didn't matter. Yeah. But she would have gone home had she not orchestrated Sierra's elimination to and gotten the willed the legacy advantage. Like, that was so crazy. It was so good. She was able to be the swing vote many, many times. She played a part in a lot of these eliminations and yeah. blind sides. Yeah. She was, like, up in it. Yeah. So she gets to final tribal council in the mm -hmm. traditional way. We, right. got, we got no fire. That's right. <laughs> She's there with Brad Culpepper and Troy Zan. Yes. And thank goodness this jury uh, respected her social game, respected right. her strategy. Yes. They were mad at her. They were, they felt betrayed. Like yeah. she was involved in a lot of blind signs. Yes. And they called her out for that. But yeah. I think it was just you, you. She's up against Culpepper, who had like immunity wins. Immunity wins. He was like a physical beast. He was. Troy Zan had nothing. So you know, it, it sort of just made sense that they would they award it to Sarah. Not saying she's undeserving. Like oh, no, she she's deserved undeserving. this. I'm glad that the jury was able to get over any bitterness yes. and yeah. give this very deserved win yeah. to Sarah. I mean, we like Brad Culpepper too. I mean, we sure. like a lot of these other players who yeah. didn't win. But she got seven to three. He, Brad got three. Yeah. And Troy Zan didn't get. He got zero. Yeah. No, she's she's a player. I'm super excited to watch yeah. again. I would have my eye on Sarah because oh, yeah. she's definitely one that I think. People are gonna target as soon as they can. I mean, here's the thing: we've got 20 really good players. Right, right. So who are they gonna target and when? But yeah. they know that she's ruthless. They know that she will yes. be your best friend yes. and she will cut you while she's hugging you. Right. Like, she does. She's that's just how she's gonna play. Yeah. So that's dangerous to keep in the game. Dangerous. Because you don't for know sure. if you can trust her. Yeah. Well, that's our first four, y'all. You guys, do you remember these players? <laughs> are you excited about them? I am so excited. Excited for season 40. Y'all, I can't. It's gonna be really hard to watch though because all of these people are fan favorites in their own way. Yeah. And somebody has to go home every single week. I know. And we can only be left with one. It's so. gonna be fascinating to see who aligns with who. Yeah. Who's thought of as a threat. God, these people are gonna the play start. so hard. Yeah. Ugh. And then some people might not be able to play hard because it's been years. And listen, that might work for them. Yeah. Because sometimes when you come in playing too hard, you become a target immediately. Yeah. So like, oh. I'd, I'd walk in and be like, y'all, I'm old. Right. Don't worry about me. Oh yeah. Don't even. <laughs> I can't I'm play anymore. Yeah. I'm just here for the money. My back, my yeah. knees. Oh, I need a new hip, you know? <laughs> that would be my strategy for yeah, sure. Right. Okay, please let us know who you are excited about and we will see you with the next four next week. Yes. Yeah, see you soon. All right, bye. Bye.